Chainlink is a huge update for blockchains. Here's why. Ever wondered what holds the crypto world and the traditional finance world together? It's thanks to projects like Chainlink, a versatile, generic, and blockchain independent protocol that creates decentralized Oracle networks that essentially connect smart contracts to real world data, off chain computing, and cross chain communication in a trustworthy and reliable way. In short, it makes the use of complicated smart contracts more practical. Don't worry if this all sounds a bit confusing. It'll all make sense in a bit. We've gathered info from some of the best sources around the web that explains what Chainlink is and how it supports the Web3 economy to help the world. So today, we'll break down Chainlink and tell you about what it is, how it works, and how it's beneficial to the crypto industry. So let's dive right in. What's Chainlink? Chainlink is a decentralized network of oracles that allow smart contracts to communicate securely with real world data and services outside of blockchain networks. And no, we're not talking about the kind of oracle you saw in Matrix movies. Don't worry, this will make sense later too. Thanks to Chainlink, traditional financial tools that power modern economies can connect to the expanding blockchain sector that provides increased security, efficiency, and transparency in the corporate and social worlds. To truly appreciate Chainlink's impact, it's necessary to first grasp the true essence of blockchains and smart contracts. Once you know that, you'll understand why Chainlink is a big deal. A blockchain in general is a decentralized network of computers that run processes and store data in a shared ledger. A blockchain varies slightly from typical centralized network systems because it isn't controlled by a single person, government, or organization, and anybody in the world can transmit requests to it. Cool, right? Well, it gets better. Check this out. In a blockchain, all network operations are driven by cash rewards that encourage honest behavior and cooperation between all parties involved. The best part is that blockchains make it incredibly expensive and difficult to manipulate the public ledger by repetitively validating and storing transactions across a huge decentralized network of financially driven members. As a result, blockchains are exceptionally safe and dependable systems for processing and storing data in activities involving two or more people. A blockchain can be used to handle trades since it's a trustworthy, tamper-proof, and unbiased technology. So when you send and receive a transaction on the blockchain, you can rest assured that it'll be carried out exactly as specified. There's absolutely no monkey business. In respect to Chainlink, it's simply new tech that allows smart contracts on a blockchain to safely connect with off-chain data sources via a decentralized oracle. A decentralized oracle is nothing more than a piece of software that allows crypto networks to interface with off-chain services, including external data feeds, digital payment mechanisms, events, etc. Come to think of it, actually, the oracle in the matrix was also technically a computer program. Hmm. Anyway, coming back to Chainlink, to put it another way, it serves as a link between blockchain networks and external data sources like traditional digital cash that you'd have in an online banking account. What these decentralized oracles actually do is provide data from off-chain sources to smart contracts or connect them to an off-chain system by using a network to combine several data points into a single trustworthy data point that can be used to activate smart contracts on any blockchain. Needless to say, Chainlink is made up of countless decentralized Oracle networks that function simultaneously and independently. Using the Chainlink network is as simple as downloading a cryptocurrency wallet that's compatible with the network's native digital asset, Link. But how popular is it actually? Well, since its phase one launch in May 2019, Chainlink's popularity has skyrocketed with a total market cap of $75 billion by the end of 2021 alone. Chainlink integrations now flow into tens of thousands of DeFi apps across several blockchains, delivering a critical utility to the worldwide DeFi ecosystem. The established security and stability of the Chainlink Oracle networks, as well as the diverse data being gathered and consumed by on-chain apps to safeguard users' funds have fueled the increase in its total value and popularity in the crypto market. But is Chainlink really necessary? Well, yeah, the smart contract connectivity issue, for example, is one of the most obvious challenges hurting smart contracts because the shortage of connection limits the types of smart contracts that can be created. An app like Uber, for example, makes use of multiple data inputs such as GPS data and essential outputs such as payment gateways to provide easy services for our everyday usage. 
You see, smart contracts are only bound to on-chain data unless they have valid connectivity to off-chain resources. Having access to external data allows a new generation of powerful smart contracts and decentralized apps. How does Chainlink function? To collect the needed data, Chainlink uses a variety of networks, and before returning the data to the smart contract, they reach an agreement. This eliminates the need for a single oracle in the smart contract. Moving forward, Chainlink nodes can perform both one-time and repeated data retrieval operations. The on-chain and off-chain components of the Chainlink network are both interactive. Let's go over each of these in turn. Chainlink's on-chain component is made up of Ethereum's blockchain's Oracle contracts and keeps track of and responds to data requests from users. So when a request for off-chain data is made, they send the contract to the Chainlink network where it's converted into a native blockchain contract. The Chainlink contracts then match the request to an appropriate Oracle service. Chainlink contracts are composed of three components, a reputation contract, an order matching contract, and an aggregating contract. The reputation contract keeps track of Oracle service provider performance metrics and verifies its history. The order matching contract then logs the user's proposal on the network gathers bids from Oracle providers and chooses them based on the reputation contract analysis. Then finally, the aggregating contract gathers all of the responses from the Oracle providers and calculates the final collective answer to the original query. The Chainlink's on-chain component follows a three-step procedure when these contracts are in use. Number one, select an Oracle. Number two, report the data. And number three, combine the outcomes. User contracts can also impose a penalty cost on oracles who provide inaccurate or misleading information. And this encourages oracles to give consistent and fair services. The second key component of the Chainlink architecture is off-chain oracle nodes that connect to the Ethereum network. External requests are gathered by these nodes and the individual replies are totaled up via numerous consensus techniques, then translated into a single trustworthy global response and a contract. Chainlink Core, the critical component that connects the blockchain and off-chain data resources, processes the gathered data. The Chainlink Core is the system that transforms off-chain data into information that can be used by an on-chain oracle. Chainlink's future. In terms of Chainlink's future, it's difficult to forecast the current status because they haven't released a specific roadmap. But what we do know is that the protocol announced the acquisition of Cornell Town's Cryer project, which is being utilized to further improve its trusted Oracle system. In addition to that, the company is constantly expanding its circle of partners with well-known companies like Swift, the Worldwide Interbank Communications Network, and the Morpheus Network, a global supply chain platform based on blockchain technology, already on board. As part of the larger crypto bull market in 2021, the price of Link soared to a high of nearly $50 by mid-May. In July, the price fell to approximately $13, but it recovered to over $23 before the end of the year. In mid-June 2022, Chainlink had a market capitalization of $3,127,710,848.17 with a price per token of $6.70. The circulating supply of the cryptocurrency is over 467 million Link tokens with a maximum supply of 1 billion Link tokens. But despite all of these big numbers and its usefulness, Chainlink is still far from perfect. Why? Because the price of Link, like the majority of other cryptos, is sensitive to market forces and can fluctuate significantly. For rookie crypto traders, this might make it a dangerous investment. Also, while crypto savvy investors are aware of Chainlink and its critical position in the DeFi environment, Link lacks the same level of brand awareness as Bitcoin or Ethereum. But then again, which crypto doesn't? Conclusion. Given the volatility of the crypto markets, formulating cryptocurrency price forecasts is a difficult task. But Wallet Investor predicts that the price of Link will drop to $3.98 by mid-November and stabilize at about 0.086 cents on the dollar by the end of this year. So we don't really recommend you invest in it because it's important to note that like with all altcoins, the performance of Link will mostly be determined by how Bitcoin and the rest of the crypto market perform and the market isn't performing as well as it should. We hope that this video helped you to understand Chainlink. As always, if you enjoyed our content, please hit the like button and subscribe for more interesting crypto content like this. 
If you wanna know how Chainlink is different from something like Sphere Finance, click on the pop-out banner to check out our video that has an in-depth guide to it.